This next patient, a pediatric patient, has six nerve palsy at presentation. You have one single sagittal T1 weighted image. You should, without blinking, be able to identify the abnormality. So go ahead. I'm going to move on to question number one. So you may wish to pause because I'm going to give you the answer, but here comes the question. Question number one. Chordoma is suspected as an infracellular lesion in all of the following scenarios except A, chondroid components with areas of T2 spinecho hyperintensity. B, propensity for the midline, clivus, and C2. C, destructive. D, lobulated, irregular, bulky mass. E, does not calcify. F, size saliferous cells on path. That's a mouthful. Let's go back to our imaging. Our image shows a mass that's rather smooth, but it has amputated the tip of C2. There's been no surgery. It has all but amputated the inferior tip of the clivus in this position. This notochordal remnant lesion has a characteristic location, namely right at the tip of the clivus, right along the tip of C2, but is sometimes more lobulated, more irregular, more cauliflower-like in character, and that is the chordoma. The chordoma, not uncommonly, has chondroid components, as was suggested in choice A. Those chondroid components will have some chondroid matrix commingled with other histologic types, and the chondroid components are bright on the T2-weighted image. So A is a true statement. Choice B, propensity for the midline clivus and C2, is a true statement related to question number one, which is chordoma is suspected as an infracellular lesion in all the following scenarios except. So, so far, scenario A is okay. Scenario B is okay. Scenario C, destructive. It is destructive. It's amputated C2. It's destroyed the basilar tip of the clivus. Choice D, lobulated, irregular, bulky mass. Well, it's bulky. It's not that irregular. It's not that lobulated, but it frequently is. This one just happens to be a little bit smoother. But choice E, that's the one that doesn't fit. These lesions are associated with calcification. They are associated with bone destruction. So you may see bone fragments and calcification together. So E is the correct false choice. It's the exception to the rule of these other choices, all of which are true. A is true, B is true, C, D, and F, which is a distractor, size, saliferous cells on path. Well, you don't have to know that. You just have to know that chordomas calcify. And if you don't know that, you might be in trouble.